Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Millionaire Mafia. Appreciate you guys checking out the channel today. And today, I'm gonna take you for a ride, both figuratively and literally, on our most recent RV park purchase. This one is in Coleman, Alabama, which is just outside of the metro area of Huntsville, Alabama. This park in particular is less than two miles off of Highway 65. It's 91 spaces and it is set up beautifully and you'll see that here in a minute. Come take a ride with myself and my partner Bob Preston as we go on his 43 foot monster of an RV towing his 2500 GMC and we're gonna take a trip to closing and then show you a walkthrough of the park so you can see the parks that we are actively investing in. But before we get started, if you like this video, go ahead and mash that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. We're gonna be doing a ton of cool stuff in the months and years to follow and we are very excited to have you along for the ride. All right guys, let's go for a ride. It's RV time. This is the painful part of owning an RV. Okay, that's the first 150. <laughs> oh. 295. All right. This should get us the mobile. <laughs> All right, guys, let me explain what's going on right here. In order for us to save about $25,000 in taxes due to closing on a property in Alabama, we had to cross over into Alabama and close with this title company at their little shack of a closing place. Anyway, closing went well, went off without a hitch, had no issues, signed the minimal paperwork for a commercial property, and then we hopped back in the RV and we were on our way to go check out our newest acquisition. Oh boy, there it is. So why do we buy this one? Well, a couple of reasons to start off with is it is an awesome, super central location. It's about two miles off of Highway 65, which makes it super convenient for people traveling that major north-south corridor through the Midwest and the Southeast United States. It's conveniently located about five to six hours from Pensacola, from Asheville, from New Orleans, as well as several other places, uh, about three hours from places like Nashville, uh, about five hours from Indianapolis. So it's a super, super convenient location for people that are taking four, five, six hour treks uh, or stops along their route, which is what you do as an RV owner, right? The other thing that we like about it is the economy of scale. It's 100 units and it has room for an expansion of 15 to 20 more units as it sits, not doing any other future development.
Another couple awesome things about it is its condition. As you can see already, and you'll see more as we continue to drive, it's in really good shape. Generally, all the main roads are paved. It's got speed bumps. The roads are in good condition, well maintained. The pads are in good condition. Even our long-term pads, which are these guys coming up here, which are the more you know monthly rentals, are in really good shape and kept pretty clean. I'll show you some of the more uh, nightly rentals as we go up the hill. Those are the pull-through spots versus the back-end spots here. One of the other cool things about any type of real estate is gonna be the additional features. What's up, guys? One of those being a water feature, as you can see up off the nose. We've got a stock pond. We've got some mascots over there. There are white ducks. We've got some chickens. We've got, I'll show you in a little bit, our horse. And we've got a couple of goats that uh, come with the property. Also, down back behind these barns, which I will show you, I'll walk back there in a little bit, we've got a river that runs down and through uh, the back end of the property this uh, land but butts up to. That's really cool. Right now, it's a little bit hard to access. That's an add value thing that we can do by building a little bit more accessible stairs or a walking trail down to the low ravine area so that if and when it rains, they can people can still get down there. Uh, we just drove by the house for the manager, uh, Brian. He's gonna be moving in here with his family here soon. I'll take you back to the office in a little bit and show you some of the uh, employees that we have, as well as probably the cleanest bathrooms that you're ever gonna see. Probably not just in an RV park, but even in your house. I mean, I was super proud to poop on it. That's all I'm saying. Coming up on the west side of the park, I'm gonna take you down one of the middle rows. So these are all the pull-through spots. These are predominantly the nightly rentals. We have a couple longer term monthly rentals, but these are the ones that typically don't stay more than a month. Again, paved roads, really well built and really well maintained. Uh, gravel pads, they all have the individual uh, hookups for water, sewer, and power. Whole park is on a septic. That is another thing that's not as desirable. We prefer to be on city sewer as well as water. Hey, Bob. See this tree line up here? Really beautiful, nice and serene. Honestly, right now, I'm the loudest thing going through the park, uh, talking and driving a, an electric golf cart, so you can, you can just tell how, how peaceful it is. All right, as we come around this corner over here, you're gonna see our future development location. Down there, I don't know if you can see it super well, but there's a couple uh, tenants with their dogs. We've got a, a fenced-in dog park, so that's really convenient. People obviously love their uh, furry friends. Right off the nose here is where we're gonna put our development. So as you can see, uh, we've got about about 300 feet of space up there. We're gonna put between 15 and 20 RVs. Uh, we gotta put the septic in, we've gotta run some of the lines, put the poles, but otherwise, overall, it's gonna be uh, pretty easy. They're all gonna be pulled through sites to that last line and they can exit out uh, of the park off to the, uh, the north. All right, so that's gonna add another you know, $45 per night per pad. Speaking of adding value to the park, the rent for the nightly rate when we purchased the park was $35 a night. We immediately moved it up to $45 a night, and it's gonna be at or even below the, the market for the area. So more than reasonable, and, and people are gonna have no problems paying that. Also, our monthly rates are kind of a hodgepodge, depending on how long people have been here, between 360 to about $420 a month. We're gonna move that up to a, across the board, 450 a month here over the next few months as we transition. So that's gonna be right there at 100 units. You can tell that's already gonna be quite a bit. That requires essentially no additional capital improvements to do. It's just a swipe of a pen. So that's a major add value. Well guys, I'm coming up to the end of our tour. I hope you guys liked the park. If you guys are interested in investing in RV parks, 
These things are awesome. We are looking for partners and investors. Bob and I just toured a tiny home factory today and we're gonna start putting tiny homes into these parks and renting those out nightly to uh, Airbnb tenants and things like that. We're gonna be doing that not only here in Coleman, but we're gonna be doing it in our Pensacola parks, the Kentucky parks, and uh, parks over in uh, Cleveland and any other parks that we find. So if you're interested, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. If you got any questions, go ahead and comment below. Go ahead and like this, share this, and subscribe to the channel so you can see all the opportunities that are coming up. And check out the new things coming. We're gonna do a series exclusively focused on tiny homes, talking about the good, bad, the ugly, and everything else in between in tiny homes, all right? Until next time, here's to your wealth. All right, so just gonna check out the men's, ladies. It looks the same. Look at that. How many campgrounds have you been in that look like this? Put all that trash in there. Oh, there's none. Oh, not to mention the smell is uh, glorious. And I mean that in a good way. Uh, we need to get uh, the people that are cleaning this bathroom to uh, teach our kids a lesson about theirs because they're doing a great job. All right. Pretty awesome, guys. RV parks, it's the way to go.